Hello, so today my camera is flipped around because I had a request, a couple of requests, for a makeup tutorial. Let me back up a little bit before I start showing you my makeup routine. Um, yes, I'm already wearing some makeup, but I'm just going to go over the lines and go over every step for you. Um, but I would like to back up to explain that I had very bad cystic acne um, for a couple years. And during that time, I was so particular about makeup. Obviously, I was trying to cover up my acne, and I used a brand called Jane Iredale. It's really, really good quality and really expensive. All the way up until my healing in 2019, um, I had been using that makeup just because I always had skin issues and sensitive skin, and that's just what I learned was best, and I was just afraid to put anything else on my skin. Now that I have healed, I've healed and sealed my gut, there are certain things that I don't spend extra money on. Um, so I have downgraded, gone back to a lot of regular makeup brands, smarter choices, but, but still not the most expensive. So um, this is a good time to make this video because I think that all of these things are things that people can go out and buy and try for themselves. All right, so now I will show you how I do my makeup. I wash my face with Bison Tallow Soap from North Star Bison. If I ever use soap or anything on my face, it's that. Usually I don't use anything on my face. Usually it's just cold water rinse it, pat it with a dry towel, okay? I don't wear foundation. Um, so I start with this. This is the uh, Intense Eye Color Shadow Palette for Greens by Almay. It's the 040. So I do have green in my eyes and I really want it to stand out. I love green eyes. And so I really like this palette. It comes with um, sort of a top. It comes with a shimmery purple. It comes with that one. It even actually numbers them, like this says number one and it says base, as you can see. I don't really use it that way. Um, I like sparkles, so I only use the sparkly ones and I literally have so many of these things. This is my makeup bag, but I have so many of these because I just pick and choose what I wanna use. Um, so I start out by using this shimmery goldish color. Green eyes, you wanna go for purple, pinkish, gold, some go for copper, um, some go for gray. I don't do gray. I really like the pink and the purples. So I start out with this goldish color and I'm really gonna redo my makeup with you guys. I use my finger, nothing fancy. I put it in the center of both eyes. The next step is I take this lighter shimmery color. I use my pinky. So I use a different finger for each eyeshadow so that I don't mix them. Use my pinky and I put it in the front corner of my eye. You know, this is a nice shimmer that's going to um, brighten your eyes. And then I use the second to darkest shade of purple. It's shimmery. And um, I actually do use a brush for this, but it's upstairs. But I would take this and I'll use a finger to show you. This is the part where, and I'll show you that you can do it with a finger. You want to sweep in a sort of um, a V shape, kind of like this and you just really want to use that shadow to to open up your eyes. Um, so not too much, but you just want to sweep into the crease, a little bit above the crease. Some people actually bring this all the way up to the eyebrow. I will do that if I'm going out in the evening, which is rare because I go to bed really early. Um, but during the day, I will just bring it up to the crease. <clears throat> okay, so that's what I do with that. Um, and then to line my eyes, I use an angle brush. So I actually went and got my brushes. I keep them in this little container. This is a brush that I usually use to add that darker shimmery shade of purple that I just showed you and I just sweep it like that. The next thing that I will do is apply a liner. So I get two different liners from my local beauty supply store. They're really, really cheap. No brand in particular, I'm just looking for colors when it comes to liners because it's literally just one liner on my eye. I'm not really concerned. Now when it comes to something that I'm putting all over my face, which I do have something I will show you, I do consider the ingredients. Liners, I really like this dark purple. This purple shade, and this is called purple. Okay. And then this one is one of my favorite things to use and I fear the day that they run out of this or they stop producing it because 
I think Revlon used to make a liner the same shade and they stopped making it so I didn't wear it for years and then I found this um, it's basically the same shade and this one is called I think it's called iris orchid it's called sweet orchid and this is more of a pink it's more of a pink okay this is what brings out the green in eyes. Apply this around my eyes. I never go inside the eyes. That's just gonna make them look more narrow or smaller. I also add a very light layer of this, sometimes just on the top eye, sometimes just on the outside, but it's just a hint of, it's a pop of color that really helps to bring out the green in my eyes. And then the next step would be to take this sort of brush and I apply apply some shimmer. So this is a step, it's a shade lighter than the goldish one that I added to the inside of my eyes. And this is really just a highlight. I get this on Amazon. I think it's like $7. You can just look for eye highlight and I put it on the inside corners of my eyes. And then also in the top arch of my eyebrows. That's going to brighten the eyes. I also use this. This is insanely old, probably 15 years old. This used to have little things in it for your eyelashes, um, but I just use it as a brush to brush up my eyebrows. And I, um, I do my eyebrows myself. I've never gotten my eyebrows done. Sometimes I will use this brush to apply highlight to my nose, just like that. Um, but I really don't do that often. Last touches would be mascara. I have this one, and this is the Falsies Lash Lift by Maybelline. Um, and I think this is black. I go for black or purple. So I also have a L'Oreal Voluminous Original, and this one is a purple shade. So if I really want to bring out my green eyes again, I'll use that. Um, raisin colors are really good for green eyes too, and that's what this is. Sometimes I wear stuff under my eyes. Um, so this is what I recently switched. I was using the Jane Iredale. Um, I used to use this. This is called Active Light Under Eye Concealer by Jane Iredale. This stuff is expensive. Um, and I got it on Amazon, but I don't want to spend that much money anymore. So if I do feel like I want to cover up some darkness under my eyes for whatever reason, I will use this, which is e.l.f. Um, I like this brand. It has pretty clean ingredients. To do that, I would literally, less is more. Okay, don't pound it on. Don't cake it on, it looks bad. So I would just do a couple of dots like that. Make sure you have a clean finger to use. Which one did I not use? I'll use one of these. And just very lightly pat it. You don't wanna smear it, just pat it. And that's all I do, really. Lastly, I do like blush. I would also use the Jane Iredale blush previously. I no longer use that. So I switched to Physician's Formula. This is, um, I was looking for something of a rose shade because the Jane Iredale one that I used was rose. So this looked like a rose to me. It looked close enough. So I just use a poofy brush and I just do it like that. And that's it. And I actually used to blush the top of my nose and then I got a comment on a video interview that I did and someone was like, Rebecca's T-zone looks inflamed and red. And I was like, this is my makeup. So I stopped doing that. And then finally, if I do want to have a really nice matte finish, in other words, if I don't want any like shine on my face and I just want to blend it all together, that's when I use this. This is by e.l.f. It's called HD Powder. It was really affordable. And it's just whitish powder. And I use one of these brushes. Um, and this is actually a really nice brush that I bought years ago. Um, but I would suggest getting a brush with strong bristles. And this is by Mary Kay. Anyways, and I just really put it everywhere. Like that. So that's how I do my makeup. And if I'm feeling really sassy, I will use this Beauty Counter lip gloss, which I'll show you guys. It's just really light. Or I will just put butter on my lips. Finally, as a way to resume my makeup tutorial, um, I wanted to share the magic of an angle brush. 
So I don't like to use any harsh lines, especially in lining my eyes. So when you use eyeliner, you could take the angle brush, go back over it, and smear it, smudge the line, smear it, smudge it, so it's not a harsh line. Or you can take the same brush, dip it in water, or even just put spit on your hand, dip it in the spit so that it's wet, and then dip it in your favorite shade of eyeshadow. Um, so you can see I had some eyeshadow already on this brush that I had been using in place of eyeliner. So that's another way to apply liner with an angle brush is to dip it directly in some eyeshadow, whatever shade you would like to use. Um, this is also something that you can use to fill in your eyebrows. I don't really fill in my eyebrows, but um, if I want them to be like very noticeably bold or um, just look a certain way, then you can always use a darker shade like brown and just fill it in. And this is a good tool to use it with, again, because you don't want harsh lines, especially when it comes to your eyebrows or anything on your face. So that's it. An angle brush is a really great tool um, for makeup.